Alright, what is up everybody? It's Benjo from Undirected Films, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fully restore your NMDs. Now, this video is different from other videos because this is only household items. That's no Crep Protect, no Rejuvenator, no Jason Marks, just items that you can find at your house or go to your Walmart and buy for under $5. So before I get started on the video, I'm going to give you guys a before and after shot of what the NMD looks like before I restored it and after I restored it. So let's get right into that. Alright, now that you've seen the before and after, I'm going to tell you guys the three things you need to fully restore your NMDs. First, you're going to need soap, water, and a toothbrush. Second, a white paint pen. Any paint pen works. And third, a hair dryer. That's it. Now, if you want to get a rag or something, that can help in two places, but it's not necessary. So, now that you know what we need, let's get right into restoring it. Alright, now that we're ready to restore the shoe, I want to tell you guys what I start with. I start with the upper part of the shoe just because I feel like if I clean this, it's easier to clean this and I don't want soap getting on this because this is something different and these are different too. So, what you need to do is get some water, pour a little bit of soap in it so it just tints the water to whatever color the soap is. Then take your toothbrush, dab it in the soap, and then shake it off right here and then just start rubbing on the upper part of the shoe. Now, you want it to foam up. See how it's kind of foaming up right there? You want it to do that. You don't want to rub the soap all the way in because if you look at items like Crep Protect and Rejuvenator and stuff, the trick is that they foam up and get all the dirt out. So that's what I'm doing here. You don't want to rub it in, but you really want to focus. What I found is I have to focus on where the laces are, the three stripes, and then the pinky toe and big toe. That's like the dirtiest part of my shoes. I don't know why. Maybe it's just have wide feet and that's just where it hits. But that's what happens to me. So I'm going to rub this. I'm going to clean all this just by taking the brush, dipping it in there, rubbing it a little bit. It's not even, you don't even have to rub hard. You don't want to rub hard because one, if you rub too hard, this little band right here can rub off. And you don't want to fray the circinate or whatever. Yeah, I think it's circinate. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you when I'm done rubbing and cleaning this shoe. Alright, so after you've brushed with the soap all over the upper part of your shoe, you want to take a rag and you want to clean and like just wipe down the shoe getting all the dirt and stuff that the soap has pulled to the top when it was foaming up off the shoe so especially on the back right here is where I was really having trouble so I need to wipe that on the rubber parts especially you can uh, get a bunch of the dirt off with the rag and on the where the laces is are where the laces are right here is a good spot to rub but now what we're gonna move on to is the heel cups and the adidas logo right here before we get into fixing the creases we're going to clean the heel cups so it's the same thing you want to take your uh, toothbrush and soapy water and scrub and let it foam and sit so you want to let it sit and foam like that we'll go over here to the adidas one foam it up let it sit and then we'll go to the inside heel cup let it foam and sit and you want to let this sit for about 30 seconds to a minute after it sits, you're going to take your rag again, and then you're going to wipe it off. So here, we'll start on this one. You're going to just wipe it off really well. Try and get all the little dirts in the little middle pieces off. Same for the Adidas logo over here. And then on the back, wipe it off over here. And you want to try to get all the dirt out because we're about to take our uh, blow dryer and fix the creases by blowing over the heel cup. And when you do that, you don't want any dirt in there because it'll mold into the actual heel cup and that will not look good. So, next we're going to do our heel cup. So, I'm going to go plug this in and I'll be back in a second. Alright, now that I got the blow jar plugged in, we're going to get rid of the creases. Now, before I turn this on, I need to tell you two things. One, turn it all the way up to high. If your blow jar has a setting past high, whatever, turn it on high. And then you're going to hold the blow jar about an inch away from the plugs and just go back and forth over it. And for about 30 seconds each. So, let's get right into it. So we're going to turn it on high, and then you're just going to hang it over right there, and just go back and forth. Hey. 
so we're done with the blow drying now the shoe is actually pretty hot the bottom is hot it's all hot so I would let it cool for a second but I'm gonna show you guys right here the creases are gone in the, this part creases are gone here creases are gone here now the next part is probably the most important part and probably the part that most people are looking for in this video and that is to clean the yellowing boost and how to fix the yellowing boost completely so for that you're going to need a paint pen now I just have a white sharpie paint pen and what you do is I would one get a piece of paper or something that you can dab I'm just gonna use this rag but you just shake your paint pen up shake 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 open it dab it on something real fast and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna color the boost basically all you're doing is coloring the boost and you're just gonna have to go over it maybe two or three times completely just to get good coats on it if you really want it to stay I have done this before and it does yellow back again but this was probably six months ago so it's a good long term but short term trick I mean it's not gonna last forever but six months is pretty good to go back to where it was after another six months so it basically puts your NMDs back to a fresh start like right when you got them and so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you when I'm done so I've finished with the paint pen on the boost and when you first get finished with that don't be like wow this looks like crap because it doesn't look the best I'm just gonna be honest with you because the paint hasn't settled into the creases of the boost and it's still wet so it's still really shiny and it doesn't look like boost but when it's done and it's dried it falls into the creases of the boost it's not super shiny it looks like when you first got the shoe which is what we're going for we're trying to fully restore these NMDs Alright, so that is it for the video. I hope it was fast. I hope it was quick. I hope you've learned how to fully restore your NMDs because I've been doing this for about six months now, just restoring them, cleaning them back to new. They get beat, I clean them again, and I've been able to wear them for over a year now, and they still kind of look new. I mean, there's still some tears, not tears, but fraying at some points, but the overall cleanness of the shoe is still there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like, comment if you need help on anything, and I'm Benjo, and that's the video.